Welcome to watch this video, Haswell Electronics Wholesale Digital Thermometers, Recorders, and Controllers from China, welcome to visit our website and make an inquiry. Before the official start, please know that there may be different language versions of this video, including Spanish, Russian and other dubbing, you can find them here. If you find a translation error, please let us know and we will fix it in a future version. Let's get started. The first is to complete the wiring like this wiring diagram. This load can be a compressor controller, used to control refrigeration. It can also be a heating controller which max supports 99 Celsius degrees. Or just as a temperature monitor, and wire an external alarm. You have to select one of these features in the admin menu, we'll talk about that later. Once power is on, it will proceed with a self-test. If it works well, you will find room temperature value on the screen let's call it the normal state. If there is an error code, most of the time because the sensor is broken, try replacing it with a new probe. If it is not the thermistor fault, please refer to the PDF manual, which you can download for free from our website. Let's see how to set the target temperature range. Like other thermostats in the STC series, STC 200 also defines the target temperature zone by configuring the two parameters of set point and hysteresis. However, the difference is that the hysteresis is one way in this STC 200, yes it is unidirectional. Means, the lower limit of the temperature zone equals the set point, however, the upper limit of the temperature zone is equal to the sum of the set point and the hysteresis value. In short, the target temperature zone is defined from set point to set point plus F0. Note that once the set point is changed, the temperature range also shifts as you can see. I think you should now understand why you never got the desired temperature range before. Users can quickly change the set point by shortcut keys. Press the set key, the screen will display the existing SP value. Press the up or down key to change the SP value. At last, hold the set key for 3 seconds to save the new data, or leave it alone, the device will automatically save the new parameters, and return to the normal state in 30 seconds. You must enter the administrator menu to modify the return difference value. Hold the set key and the up keys at the same time for 4 seconds to enter the function code interface, you will see F0 and the set light is on. Now you access the admin interface. F0 is the return difference. Step 1 Press the set key to check the existing value. Step 2 Press the up or down key to change value. Step 3 Press the set key to save new data and go back to the code menu list. Step 4 Press the up or down key to other function code. Repeat the above steps to adjust other parameters. At last, hold the set key for 3 seconds to save data and back to the normal state. We just explained F0 and how to operate, now let's look at other parameters. If your compressor starts and stops frequently in a short period of time, it will die quickly, and the F1 can give the compressor a break. These two parameters are to limit the range of the set point to prevent ordinary users from accidentally selecting an outrageous target temperature, or children randomly pressing the buttons, causing unnecessary losses. F4 is the working mode or the type of load. We strongly recommend that you modify this parameter first because some factory produced STC 200 will change other parameters to default values after you modify this parameter. Although ours will not do it. In addition, please find the start and stop conditions of the load from the PDF manual. F5 is temperature correction, which is nothing to say. The above is how to enter the administrator menu and the function of each parameter. Thanks and welcome to visit our website.